She said, not on my watch, bitch. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another anime reaction here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. It is AVR Squared, and we are here with our Fate Stay Night UBW Episode 1 reaction. What? This is the second episode we've we've reacted to. It's because they did a prologue, a silly episode zero thing, which you can watch here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. Get subscribed, guys. Subscribing is a great thing to do for yourself and the channel. You get uh, uh, the subscription feed, notifications if you hit the bell for all of our anime reactions podcast covering everything you can imagine in geek pop culture entertainment reviews uh trailer reactions live streams doing gaming and and watch alongs and more check all of that out we have a parent website if you will lrmonline.com uh go there every day for all entertainment news uh celebrity interviews from lrm's youtube channel uh, written reviews and so much more covering literally everything in, in entertainment cat is trying to like set equipment She's up so and oh my god yeah. uh and of course hey we do have merch uh linked to our red bubble with these prints and more uh down below i'm kyle that's my wife christine and it's good to be back on fate you guys have given us a pretty well uh a pretty warm welcome back appreciate that uh enjoyed episode zero and i'm guessing we're gonna kind of stick with that same kind of time frame we saw in episode zero that same day or so uh but we're gonna follow uh shiro now that's what i'm thinking is about to happen so let's find out if i'm right or am i right or am i right 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 right, right. five points for that reference ladies and gentlemen we should do some sort of like reference scavenger hunt for our audience one day uh yeah that'd be fun Couldn't be bothered to animate the smoke, huh? I, I'm not going to lie. I would hate to animate smoke as well. I think I'd go with CGI. Because all that is, is it, like in Blender, it's just plugging in an emitter and just changing some sliders around. Uh. <laughs> the boom, smoke. I mean, you got to create an enclosure and stuff, but it's relatively easy to make uh, smoke in um, 3D animation. Most of the time, it's already done for you. <laughs> You don't have to ask. Frickin' do it. You're a woman, right? Shouldn't you be cleaning already? I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, they uh, made his little, um, God, I can't remember what he calls it, but <laughs> it's like <laughs> analyze his uh, scan technique. I gave it a little bit of uh, animation because before it would be like looking at the inside and it, it was different. It was weird. This is our last uh, double length episode, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good for the editor, which is me. <laughs> Is that Sauron? <laughs> Look like a tower with the... <laughs> Maybe. God, could you imagine Middle Earth done anime? I'd awesome. watch it. It'd be awesome. Just don't let Amazon be the one to make it. <laughs> uh. Uh, or be involved with story or anything at all. Like other than licensing it out to, I don't know, whoever. UFO table. MAPPA. Cloverworks, wit, like any of them. That's a lot of sweat. <laughs> so she can keep an eye on you. What are you up to? <laughs> I 
So she pranked you. I don't, don't ruin my food, damn it. I know. That's like, would be like the worst thing someone could do to me. <laughs> I don't know. Should you be drinking it? Yeah, I know, right? It's gross too. Maybe not. Bitch, bring me my homework. I'm taking the day off. I don't remember a nickname from the... Maybe they don't make a deal out of it being a nickname mm. in uh, the 06, but... You don't, it's not just the valves that can leak, though. Shifting ground, especially in a place like uh, Japan, can weaken joints and uh, pipes in general, moving, wear out, spring leak. I don't even think if I didn't know about you know, what she's been through thanks to, to Zero, I still don't think I would very much be trusting of her or like her right now. Like... She's got, like, dead eyes. That's part of it. And, yeah. yeah. And, I, and part of that... Um, and part of that, of course, uh, um, it's not like me saying the character's bad, bad acting, or anything. Like, they're supposed to be, like, her voice and everything is supposed to be being portrayed the way it is for reasons I'm sure we'll, we'll get into. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's just so many little things where I'm like, if I didn't know what you were going, uh, had been through and I didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't have an eye on you to look for like a mental break or ulterior motive or whatever the case, uh, case is going to be in a, eventually. Um, I don't think I would like the character and not like, Ooh, this is a terrible character for the show. I would, I would be like, in world, not like her, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is good. Your eyebrow raise. Yeah, and, you're supposed yeah. to not like some some characters. That would be a very awesome power to have. Fix so much and not have to buy things new. I mean, some of that you can actually do right now with the uh, uh, multimeter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but not as easy and <laughs> not as precise. <laughs> oh, you planned to walk out there on purpose, huh? It wasn't just a, uh, you were listening. I can feel the cat vibrating on my lap. <laughs> She's purring a lot. Nanya? He's all pissy. Mm hmm. It's because he got uh, shot down by Ren earlier. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Yeah. See, this is this is the valid point when when uh, I think in our review we we had mentioned it being inappropriate that she spends so much time at his at his house, even though we know she's like a family friend caretaker. The solution is she shouldn't be his teacher, though. Just like generally. I, I'm sure it happens, but I, I, I know growing up, usually kids that had teacher parents, their parent was not their teacher. Yeah. I think there were maybe the rare case where it was like a music teacher or something, like like a special class that didn't have 
um, multiple uh, teachers to to teach, but uh, your homeroom or main teacher, and I know this is high school, so they might have, you know, like similar out here, different teachers throughout the day. But if you could avoid it, it should be avoided for conflict of interest stuff, you know, yeah. especially if someone's competitive in grades, um, you know, you you bring question to integrity unnecessarily. This is very true. Can't help others if you're a mess yourself from spending too much time helping others. Yeah. We've had to have that conversation with our son about it being okay to say no. Mm -hmm. um, it being okay to not share. It being okay to say, hey, this is my area, my things, my time, my space, whatever my you might need uh, at the time. Because people will take advantage of you. And, and it's a twofold thing. One, you need to be able to assert, hey, you know what? Nine times out of ten, I'll share this. Today, today's not the day to share. Um, but not only do you learn a little bit of self, uh, uh, self-control, um, self-worth, there, there's, there's also that opportunity for you to teach someone that it's okay to be told no. Like, yeah. And for them to learn how to cope with that, that today is not the day they get to share in someone else's whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's important because, man, life is a balance of, you know, doing what uh, Shiro does and then doing what we're talking about now, saying no, not not today, not now. Because while sharing is caring, if you don't have anything left to share. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't like that that one book. Um, the Giving Tree. Well, that one, and then oh. also the one with the fish, giving away the, the scales. I don't know that one. Oh, it's this kid's book, um, Colorful Fish, with scales, and he's handing mm. them out. I think I'm remembering that right. I don't like that, because it's like, you're giving away almost all of them, and it's like, n yeah. no. Yeah. It's nighttime. And there is a child staring at you. No one else around. Be worried. You're in a horror movie. Yeah. Freaky deaky clone partial doll thing. <laughs> <laughs> if this was a horror movie, he'd make a great survivor girl. <laughs> <laughs> Calling him a virgin, <laughs> amongst other things. Yes. <laughs> Break it, make it more brittle. Not complete the change. Okay, that animation there was rough. Did you guys see that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like his foot goes right through. See that? Like, it's on the pipe. The pipe doesn't move at all. Yeah, because yeah. like if you knock into it, it's going to yeah. move a little. <laughs> and even there, it looks like it's partially under him, which I would not lie on, on a 
metal pipe like like that. Not not when I could just move a little bit or roll it out from under me. <laughs> I think that was just a little roughness between the uh, character animation and the. Uh, you see what was on her hand. Mm -hmm. Makeup covering some command spells or something. Bruise from fighting with your hidden command spells still intact. I don't know. <laughs> Leech. <laughs> She's a parasite. At least bring some ingredients over. I know, right? Oh, hold on, pause it. Is it Wells Fargo? There's this commercial that we have going on right now where this teenage boy has his friends over and he the the father is checking the app in the fridge, like, how much money have I spent on groceries? And it was like well over five hundred bucks. And uh then you hear the son ask, Hey, can my friend stay over for stay over for dinner? And he's like, No. <laughs> <laughs> not not now. <laughs> yeah, where it's like just at least bring in some ingredients, mm -hmm. you know. Flashing out irrationally. That's a lot of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good well, luck with that. What was that? I didn't. Uh, uh, um, dude that got shot down by Ren. Yeah, uh, she's saying that he she heard that he's planning to do something to her in in revenge and I'm like, yeah, sure. Good luck with yeah. that. Yeah, hanging out at that dojo is why she got stuck with Archer. Telling you, it was on her brain or something. <laughs> she reminds me of the sporty girl from Bake Monogatari. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness how big is your school not only that like I don't need to show you anything yeah right and you were just insulting him yeah mm -hmm. the nice guy <laughs> that's a weird nickname <laughs> And she does track too. Get back down to begging for forgiveness. <laughs> Assassins, maybe? Or assassin, maybe? We know Lancer's out running around and Ryder shows up not too long later. Maybe assassin. I wonder if this one will have its own vert. Not necessarily have Alexander Iskander, but have a version, a, a another character that is like Al. Mm. That sort of comic relief that uh um that happy jolly character like he was he was fun Al was yeah. cool 
think he's uh, taught Shiro the importance of um, bringing a parachute onto any mission you do on an airplane. Oh, God. Oh, man, the fights we started because of our insistence that the whole plane mission in, in Zero could have been done differently if planned appropriately. That was a lot of fun. We, we understand. For story reasons, she had to die. She didn't have to die. <laughs> but it was in the script. <laughs> Poke that bear. <laughs> Fate fans poking. I don't know if you can claim one saving one person helps helps save yourself, man, because like look what you did with your ideological bullshit. My grandfather used to say, the more you stir in a pile of shit, the worse it smells. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> How long did that go? Really? I have no idea, but I'll be able to, I'll, I'll fix it and post okay. joy. Not really. In in conflict, in modern conflict, which this is a a modern show. Um, I know Zero took place in the '90s, and this is early 2000s. But I mean, literally, unless you're just the worst of worst non-state players, so you're talking insurgencies and 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 terrorists and stuff like that. You you take care of and even save the lives of wounded and injured and 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 whatnot from from any side, civilian, military, like ah, God. The ideological stuff in this can get so frustrating, and and not that it's um, poorly written or or done. There are people that that have all sorts of 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 uh, beliefs and and uh, ideologies, but it gets it gets frustrating because anyone that that has taking a moment to look at the world for for what it really is and how how it is and how humans are can see things are way more gray way more blurred and there's way more wiggle room than anyone is is comfortable with and that's why ideologies come up because they want to fit everything into little boxes and that just doesn't work Mm. Yes. Hundred percent. Did she draw that or is that left over from Kuritsugu? I think it's left over. I would assume. Because he did, you know, have Saber before, but. Mm-hmm. Hers is the same thing. So it wasn't necessarily that she used one, just that she was uh about to get it. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, and you've been getting on everyone's nerves. Yeah. No. Nope. No. Get bent. F off. Why are y'all still hanging out with him? Run, bitch, run! Right behind you. <laughs> that was right. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho. I wonder why she left it behind. I don't know. He's the undead. Quick, destroy the brain. <laughs> Yes, humans suck. <laughs> nah, you've still got this made if uh, someone doesn't show up and save his ass. It's a tactical withdrawal, man. I know, right? Oh, he's got that pipe. Pick up the pipe and beat him with it. Although in the game of Clue, uh, Shed isn't one of the, the places. Yeah, very true. Very true. Can't be done in the Shed. Get him back in the kitchen. Do you have a conservatory? She said, not on my watch, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Such a dirty old man. <laughs> uh. Damn. 
Damn. Smart man, <laughs> it's none, yeah. I know, right? Oh, you don't have to be all mad about it. Yeah. Are all of you Lancers just, you know, fools for her? Mm. Got the lucky draw on the gotcha, man. Good for you. So you say. What? That used one? Aw, oh, dude. I can't believe he just did that like that. Mm -hmm. I know he didn't mean to, but... It... Did they show him using one in the... in... in... 06? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. I don't think so. Because don't you usually have to do that with purpose? Like, like, I know you, there's no, like, magic spell. Oh, mighty command seal. I beseech thee. Halt my servant. I know it's not like that. But I figured there'd be, need to be a little... Maybe maybe because he was really feeling like, please, for the love of God, uh, stop. Yeah. Maybe that's why it activated that way. Because she would have followed his orders if he had just been like if he'd had the time to be like hey saber hold on one moment please hmm you know it's it's only our first episode really with with ubw uh focused on him uh i'm still not the biggest fan of the guy he's not bad he's just as of now and based on what we saw in 06 he's kind of bland and and boring um i know in our uh review comments because we had mentioned that about him uh mm -hmm. someone had said that there's a lot of like internal monologue missing that helps give him a little bit more um depth fleshing out okay. um hopefully we get some more of that coming into the future uh future episodes um because sometimes bland and boring can be worse than bad because sometimes bad can be entertaining yeah you know um but again he's not bad and it's not like i hate him or anything like that it's just kind of like there's other characters i'd rather follow <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um that was that was good what'd you think babe it was really good yep 
I am uh, I'm happy to get deeper into the story, especially excited to get past uh, everything that we saw and know enough of relative of from from the 06 uh, 06 version. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, we'll be watching this. These will be releasing on Fridays. As far as I know, fate Fridays, <laughs> um, we're working hard on getting, um, extra recordings done and, uh, uh, on all of our other shows. One day I hope to start releasing some of these, uh, back catalog things like, uh, two, two, um, two a week. So look forward to that. Uh, you guys share us out there on the interwebs. If there's a place where you can throw up the genre verse and our uh, reaction, say, hey, check out the greatest reactions on YouTube. The most realistic reactions on YouTube. It's because they're actually real. Um, genre verse YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. Live streams. We do those. Uh, LRMonline.com for all written entertainment news. Uh, celebrity interviews. The podcast go up there as well. And hey, we do have merch link in that description box down below. I've been Kyle. She's been Christina. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.